Hello tribe, welcome to my channel, whoever is new, my tribe is dope, welcome back as usual, love you all so much. Now I'm looking today at pick a card, pick your future and we're looking at more or less seven days from now. It can stretch to 10 sometimes so just be open-minded and also it doesn't matter whenever you're watching this video guys, okay? So whenever you come across this video, we're gonna look at your future. I'm going to tune into your state right now as well. And we will be picking from my intuitive deck. And uh, just a quick uh, thing before I start, whoever would like to practice or um, develop your intuition on my community section, I am going to be posting my intuitive uh, cards. So let's say, let's give an example my intuitive cards and um, you can guys basically practice on me and I'm gonna be telling you what it is that's correct, what it is it's not, don't be afraid, um, it's all a learning process, okay? Because there's so much that you can see and uh, your eyes can actually tune into your intuition by what you see in the card. What's the first thing that you pick up on? What's the vibe, you know, what it makes you feel like? So whoever wants to practice with me and the rest of the tribe, uh, join us in the community section, all right? So guys, we start in with picking your piles. Now, for pile number one, we have this intuitive card here, okay? Take a look at it. Pile number two, we have this card over here. Pile number three, we have this card over here. Stop the video if you need some more time and we are jumping to pile number one. Hello tribe, whoever has picked uh, this card over here, we're gonna jump into your reading, right? And I'm doing things differently today, so I have a couple of like uh, surprises, whatever, whatever. We're gonna introduce some music in readings too here. And I don't know if you will like the music, but you will get the vibe of it or if you don't vibe with the music, just um, find the lyrics of it, okay? Because we'll not only be passing messages through tarot, but through music too. And this is my second passion, only if I was talented enough, you know? <laughs> right, let's jump, jump into this. Tuning into your current energies, guys. I see that you might be dealing with understanding how to take care of yourself more and what do I mean by that is saying no to people um, and why it's because I've pulled for you work your light oracle and we have the boundaries card okay so if you haven't started doing it just yet that's your indication that you will in the near future okay because we're looking at your current state right now now as I always say um, I do see a lot of hands to uh, literally trying to touch you okay save your energy pile number one because you might be empaths you might be people that have to save your energy because otherwise you might end up being drained okay i know that you don't know what these cards mean but just showing it to you to get the gist now what i'm also seeing i do see a particular situation that i see someone being drained a lot at work so if you feel like sometimes there is too much to do or people are asking too much or you come back home drained even though no one was um, asking too much or you know you didn't deal with too many people this is saying now is the time to kind of come back to your own self and say hey I need to be grounded hey I need to stop running um, kind of trust your path guys and i do really see someone did any of you guys comment down below was rushing to catch a train a bus um got stuck in traffic let's say if you're driving and you try to speed it's um if you have this energy this thing slow down the moment you learn how to slow down you will find that your day will move really smoothly so the moment you get in this chaotic kind of energy field 
everything else will follow because you will be in that energy field where you will attract these things. You'll attract chaotic people. You'll attract someone walking slow in front of you when you are Russian. You know, just remember that. Now, for some of you, I also see that, you know, many of you are empaths here. Some of you actually need to try um, work your ways. How do I protect my energy? Um, should I say no to that meeting? Should I say no to that get together? Should I just close the door and um, be in silence with my own self? File number one, protect your energy because you are someone who can be very easily drained by other people. Cool? Okay. Now, what I do see, I do see a particular situation happening here. I have tarot here. I will show you as I speak. Um... It starts with the intuitive here. I do see someone coming towards you seven days from now from the past. And why I'm saying from the past? Because I've asked for, uh, about it, you know, who is this person? Someone from childhood, someone you have known for a long time, if not from childhood. A friend or family member specifically I'm seeing here whom you haven't seen for a long time. I'm gonna pull extra cards uh, about this person. Now, what I'm seeing, the energy of this person is, I have two Four of Swords here from two different decks, and this is telling me that this is someone who's super chilled. And maybe that's a good thing because if you are in this energy here, like this, where you're like, oh my God, you know, give me a break, people. Um, this person is coming in your life for a reason. Maybe this person is coming into your life in order to teach you how to be chilled, how to be grounded, you know, four legs of a table, right? Stand on all four and do not wobble, you know, in a way. So the personality of this person, I'm also picking up a specific scenario. It's going to be only for some of you um, to kind of tell you who that person is. There was a situation for some of you that um, in the past with this person, you have been, I do see someone camping. I do see someone getting, um, hmm. I do see people, maybe a group of people, and one of them is going to be that person. You were in that scenario too, where the weather suddenly turned really bad and you probably laughed about it, that you got soaked or there was uh, someone was afraid of a, a lightning. It's something about that energy here. Now, for others of you, what I'm seeing, I see a raven here and this is going to be a particular meaning to this person and the raven it's something about that here this is also someone who has understood how to let the let go and go with the flow and i think this person is going to be really influential for you seven days from now another thing what i'm seeing here those who are intuitive here guys i have good news Whoever is or working in a field um, that's to do with spirituality or is thinking about it, I do have a situation here where your intuition is going to be on point. So you will, you might start developing or learning more about whatever it is that you're interested in right now. Okay, some of you literally, maybe you will be. Uh, working on developing your gut feeling, intuition, you know, working on your own um, powers that you might have forgotten about. And that's going to bring you income for some of you people, okay? I do see uh, income coming for those who are working in this field. Those who are not, but thinking about it, I feel like you will start doing it more or less seven to 10 days from whenever you're watching this video. And you might get people coming to you who are in a who are in a good position in their life. I do see entrepreneurs of some sorts. I do see people owning their own businesses. In some cases, that's you starting something new. Now, I also see a situation where uh, some of you guys might take a trip somewhere, but it feels like it might be to do with business or you are on a trip already somewhere else that you are not in a place where 
where you usually would be not in your home place so if you know that this doesn't vibe with you it means this is for someone else or that's in your future now one more thing what i'm seeing here whoever that person is uh, who i was talking about uh, coming back from the past this is someone possibly younger than you or someone who has a young vibe about them okay we have the page of uh, of uh, wands here Regarding this person, I do have cups energy here, so water, air, and a little bit of fire here too. Now, this person is coming in your life in order to balance you out. Whoever is a little bit um, chaotic, maybe anxious, for some of you, this person will bring you those good memories back. You'll have really good chats together, and I feel like you will, guys, literally just have such a nice conversation together now i also see a situation with the intuitive here i do see a sharp object and it kind of reminds me of this page of wands holding this wand which is very sharp at the end and maybe it's something to do with sewing for some of you guys i'm just gonna throw out everything that i'm seeing for you guys so you know you gotta pick up the information that you need to hear. I literally see someone working on sewing something. Maybe some of you um, have something to do with clothes. Maybe you are trying to get into fashion. It's something about that. I do see someone working on their craft. And whatever craft you're working on, guys, whatever business you work in, whatever it is that you do, I do feel like there's going to be a person coming towards you, not the one from the past though now, someone who might give you a really good insights regarding closely related to your career, okay? So listen to that person. That person has experience and they will know what they're talking about. Let me pull more cards from the Kipper deck here. But in general, whoever is um, a little bit chaotic right now regarding your own emotions, guys, seven days from now, you have temperance. You balanced AF. Uh, whoever is not sleeping well, you will be sleeping like a baby. It feels like you will be ending the cycle of whatever is not working for you right now, also to do with your physical health. Um, it's going to be coming down everything is coming down and coming back to normal for you guys i keep picking up water here so maybe some of you will start um will have an urge to go to a swimming pool or if you live somewhere by the lake or seaside you might have an urge to go there go there because your temperance sits right next to the six of cups saying you know what that's where i need to go that's what i need to do in order to get my balance back and um well again you know i was talking about that before <laughs> regarding money guys i told you about that right so we have the nine of pentacles regarding business i feel like you're going to have someone who will be influential in your business there is money coming towards you but don't take money as the bag of money you know like oh my god i'm getting like thousand pounds or dollars from somewhere take it Take that abundance as if someone would give you something. Someone would propose something to you that would bring this abundance in the future, in the further future. Does it make sense? And journey I talked about, so it's literally the same looking card, but just from the Kipper deck. So some of you are literally traveling somewhere, taking a trip. Do so because it seems like you will find out a some kind of important information on that trip, okay? Now, for pile number one, and for all three piles, guys, I have chosen a song for you. It kind of just came to my mind, so I didn't really have to, but I'm gonna read about it. I'll show you the name of the song. So pile number one, we have movement, control you. And let me just stop this meditation music. And I'm gonna play just a bit from that song for you guys. And I wanna talk a bit about one part of the lyrics here. I 
Okay, stop it there. Hi, pile number one. So, I've played you a wrong song and I had to come back to your reading, guys, after pile number three. Because Control You is a different song, but what I've noticed is nothing happens for no reason. The caption was perfectly for you. You know, the name of a song about boundaries, you know, and controlling and all of that stuff, which vibed, but I actually played the song not control your song, but song from pile number three, which is called Ivory, okay? So if you feel like you wanna take a look at pile number three, there might be a message for you there too. So what we have, what I paid attention straight away for you guys, um, the bit I've played for you, he says, holding how I want it off, not as if you had enough. Does he ask you? Question mark. And this goes very well for me, guys, together with the boundaries card saying, you know, uh, do people actually ask you, out, are you okay? Or are you the one who's always taking care of everyone else? Um, he also says, holding how I want it off. So you might have some burdens on your shoulders. It might be not only yours but other people's too where it's saying you know seven days from now you're gonna be putting those burdens away whatever it is would it be in your head would it be your thoughts would it be literally helping someone out with a project or something you will be ending that cycle okay and um you will start seeing once you get out of this um energy you will start seeing that people start taking care of you more people start asking about how you are do you need help more because you will be standing in your own power where you're like okay my time to take care of myself and i'm gonna say no sometimes and then you will literally switch positions does it make sense so pile number one I hope that's help. Uh, can't speak. I hope that was helpful for you. Let me know if it was, and I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Hello, tribe. Whoever picked number two, this intuitive card. Let's start. So, firstly, I'm gonna tune into your current energy, and then we'll talk. Okay. So, guys, whoever is doubting something currently. It's saying you are on the right track. I see a situation where some of you have left someone or something that felt very comfortable or felt very familiar uh, or felt very homely. Okay, so I'm not gonna try, sorry, let me just focus. I'm not gonna try to give you very specific scenarios with your current energies because you know, I'm just gonna be a little bit abstract with that, okay? You know what it is that you have left behind and why I'm saying that is because we have two reverse cards. One of them is eight of cups and another one is four of wands, okay? So some of you literally were like, you know what, no, I'm done. In other situations, I do see someone leaving you. And if you are in this energy, um, I feel like what we're gonna talk about seven days from now is going to be more like advices how you how you should deal with the situation. But let's ne let's not get ahead of ourselves here. What I'm seeing, guys, for all of you though, you came to this realization of some sorts. You like I know it's abstract, right? But as if something was spoken where you were like, oh my god, I can't believe this, or you were sitting and thinking about certain thing and you were like oh my god i can't believe i wasn't seeing this or for some of you there's a situation why i'm saying that we have also ace of swords here mm, and there's the same card from my intuitive that's how i see it you know the truth is coming out whatever the truth is whatever it was that was kind of hidden from you it has come out and therefore you might decide seven days from now that you need to retreat we have these two beautiful cards we have the hermit and the world it's literally someone going on this um so such an adventure and what i mean by that is more so where you are not afraid anymore to go on your own you're not afraid to 
take this leap of faith even though this is five of swords it's different in my deck it's not being afraid to go for something that you love and this actually transfers to the oracle card that i have pulled for you guys it says you are already doing it stop overthinking keep facing your true north you are already on the right track guys so whoever is doubting something right now this is your chance to actually you know get that bird doesn't matter that you're going over that cliff okay you have been doubting for too long you have been in the stagnant energy for too long now it's your time to go and whatever that soul searching is for you guys i feel like it's going to be a really good thing i mean my world is very different from uh, other decks in the way that i see it also as the wheel of fortune where everything is gonna work out for you in the right way you shouldn't worry about it if you're worrying about any trip that you have to take that you don't want to etc uh, etc et it's going to be good okay i feel like guys you pile number two are overthinking too much and that might um it might transfer to seven days from now too we have the ten of swords here okay you guys are giving yourself a hard time because of something that has happened in the past or will happen during these seven days. Literally, a piece of information came out for some of you are, you know, leaving someone behind, a situation behind, maybe even home for some of you where you will be stressing over it. But the thing is here, you do not see good things coming for yourself only because you are in this position where you're like, damn it, you know, something has happened and I don't know, like, it has thrown me off track where the oracle is saying, you are on a good track. Just believe in that, you know, believe in that light over there. You are on a good track. You have already climbed those mountains. It was difficult, but you are up there. You are above. Now, for some of you, air sign is going to be influential seven days from now. We have the king of swords. But we're talking more so about someone here who is well-dressed, who um, carries themselves well, who might have a connection with birds or some kind of freedom, whatever that freedom is to that person, okay? In some cases, this is someone who has facial hair, if we're talking about a man and wears glasses okay if we're talking about a mo woman coming towards you which is for a lot of you here too i'm seeing um she has something happened where i do see a situation where something happened i would say not too long ago let's say in the time frame of two years Something happened with our health. Or if we're talking about man, it can be that he has a scar of some, some sorts, okay? So that's what kind of person is coming towards you. And I feel like um, if we're not talking about a breakup, because for some of you, literally someone was leaving someone. If we're not talking about breakup, this person will bring you good news from the Kipper deck, okay? And it's something it might be to do with partnership for some of you. So maybe this is someone you're working with or will this person will come towards you and say something regarding your workplace let me tune in a bit more regarding the situation because i didn't want to pull the whole um i didn't want to overcrowd my my desk here you know too many cards but let's see what's happening there seven days from now I was talking about work, right? So new proposals uh, of some sorts. Would it be even like an idea of something stable that would come from this uh, King of Swords, okay, energy? Something to do with partnerships here, but in order for you to get that, you first have to retreat and uh, spend some time alone, guys. You have Hermit here and uh, think about what you want to do what kind of risk you're taking and um, think about all options that you have regarding the situation okay strength 
and nine of cups okay i told you it's gonna turn out great okay but right now even these cards are saying take a chill pill my nine of cups is different from other other decks here okay so what we have we have an air sign or someone who reminds you of air sign traits personality wise bringing you some kind of news regarding this um something physical so you know pentacles is um something to do with material uh, an idea of some sort that's gonna um turn into or money or turn into a project of some sorts okay and then we'll start bringing you money but in order for you to get this sorted to get this started you firstly have to get your emotions back together and come back to the strength from the ten of swords okay so that's why you have this hermit here saying you know before you do that this will not come as quick as you want it to come for some of you spend time alone question yourself why is why things happened in your past the way they happen and ask yourself what it was teaching me so then you can start walking this path with these new brilliant ideas you know um with your head head up and really know where, where you're heading because I feel like you are in chaos for some of you guys, pile number two, okay? Now, the Nine of Cups, what I'm seeing, I mean, this is dreams coming true, right? So for some of you, literally, if you have been waiting for a message from someone or for an answer regarding some kind of or project or work or interview, whatever it is, it's saying that's going to bring you happiness. Whoever is... Uh, trying to pass tests or whatever it's gonna be good you know some of you literally i do <laughs> i do see a situation where this is really silly but that's what's coming through seven days from now you will go to a place you haven't gone before to have lunch or to have dinner and you're going to get an inspiration about some kind of a dish or it's something about cooking here, guys. Maybe some of you have businesses uh, regarding that. Probably 0.1% I'm talking about here. But um, I do see someone get inspired while having dinner or having tea with someone. And it's all about tasting things, okay? Okay, sorry, one sec. Not yet, Taro. Okay, let's see what else is up here. We have five of wands and we have the lovers. I told you there was an energy of someone, you know, some kind of connection that you might have had arguments with or in some cases you have left them behind or they have left you. It can be uh, also friendships too. Don't take it as romantic when once you see the lovers. Someone will be making it yeah i mean guys get out of the nine of swords and the ten of swords position here okay things happen for a reason and seven days from now if you will have an argument with someone new or someone from your past you have walked away from or they have walked away from you whatever the situation it's saying don't get into arguments with someone uh do not overthink it you know understand that things are happening for a reason because this girl if you look at her even though let me focus oh no it's not it's not sorry guys even though this guy is hugging her from the back if you look at her face she doesn't seem very happy does she so seven days from now what's what it's saying here don't stay in connections friendships you know relationships that don't serve you anymore because otherwise you might put yourself in trouble where you are like damn you know i should have seen this before i, sh I should have i should have picked up on this information before everything was in front of me nothing was hidden but I, I didn't want to see okay with my intuitive deck here and it's a lot to do with other person here for pile number two what I'm seeing and what I heard here guys appreciate yourself you are I don't know why I keep hearing this you are better than this it's something about that 
you are better than this and you have partnership card over here too so for some of you it's going to be as i said before someone bringing you some kind of partnership or you are ending that uh seven days from now for sure okay now i'm doing things a little bit different here today i am going to pass you messages not only through tarot but through music as well and for pile number two what i have here let me just get my book out is i'm gonna play it for you too and we'll talk about lyrics pile number two we have artist movement and the song is called us let me stop the meditation music and i will play just a bit of it so you can get a feel okay and let's stop there and it vibes so much with this whole situation guys literally so the lyrics that i would like to read out as the song went it said did you believe in us did you believe in trust because i've been thinking it over and you are aware you are aware that i want you so it's all about relationships here pile number two okay i feel like some of you will be reminiscing on some kind of connection here but um even this song if you listen to the full song it gives you a feel of nostalgia you know and um and he actually wants her to act, but I feel like nothing is happening there. So for you guys, what this is saying, do not look behind seven days from now. And you will try to get in the strength uh, position, empower yourself, you know, come back on track. And it's something about you guys um, getting some kind of realization out of this whole chaotic situation, whatever it is for you guys, because I do see a new idea of some sorts and for some of you it might be to do with your life path okay so think some of you guys have you ever gone through something really difficult that you could barely come out of that you would like to talk about talk about it in a way that helps other people it's just like an example okay so whatever has happened i feel like you can use it to your own advantage so i hope that pile number two that has helped you out uh, tribe thank you for coming back uh, whoever is new consider subscribing and joining my tribe and i'll catch you in the next one bye for now hi tribe whoever has chosen pile number three let's start so i firstly would like to tune into your current energies and see what's up with you and then we're gonna look at seven days from now what i'm seeing with you guys <laughs> It seems like you are coming out of this don't you feel like you you are changing whenever you're watching this video it seems like someone has been in this energy where they were like um, I'm not sure if that's the right way to go or I'm not sure about this person I don't know what, how to how to communicate with them whoever it would be in your life and um, i do see you saying you know like f it i'm gonna start taking care of myself <laughs> it's something about this energy where you guys and oh i have eight of of uh, cups here it's something about this energy where you're like sayonara i'm on my way you know like i'm going to start enjoying my life you have queen of swords here uh i'm gonna literally dance with those butterflies over there whatever was um you know kaka energy as i say for me i'm not gonna take it anymore and uh you start in some kind of new endeavor but i feel like it's to do with your own self guys loving yourself more whatever has happened in the past it might have caused you um to take it kind of shifted you to start taking care of yourself more where you might be feeling that you are passionate you are more passionate about life or motivated than you were before if you are not it's in the very near future maybe one or two days guys 
the oracle deck uh, card sorry it's saying answer the call what is your soul calling you to do so it feels like you guys paired up with the ace of so ace of uh wands here you are like oh okay so that's what i want to do if you can see this light and that massive moon over there looks exactly the same and at the similar position so what this is telling me that someone was listening to their own intuition was listening to their soul calling and therefore they being headed good ways now so don't be surprised if um, if good people will start coming your way a uh, different vibration literally so if you were attractive uh, attracted sorry if you were attracting um one type of people in your life before because you have shifted to this queen of uh, swords here okay don't be surprised that a lot of different vibrations and even opportunities and people start coming your way it's something about you taking control of your life you know and saying you know what whatever is not for me f it i'm gone nope not happening nope been there done it it's something about this energy here guys where you are like I'm not taking shit anymore. That's it, you know? So I really like that about you. Let's look at tarot. We're gonna pull more cards. I have Kipper as well. So seven days from now, it feels like you are, you're very mysterious, whoever you are, guys. And I like that about you because it seems like you might be thinking about not telling your business to just anyone you will be working on your stuff okay working on your things whatever that you're doing right now but you won't like patiently but you won't be telling it to the whole world you'll be like i'm enjoying this music myself maybe some of you are actually going to attend some kind of event where there's going to be loud music it's going to be amazing the page of wands in this deck it's literally like having a blast uh very light-hearted i paid attention to the feather over here so it might mean something for some of you lilies came through here as well now the main situation what i'm seeing here guys uh just like a warning for some of you who are suffering suffering from migraines make sure that you are taking care of your own energy field, okay? Taking care of what kind of vibration you're in. Do not, try not to overthink things and don't hold on to things that do not feel right. So your intuition will be telling you what feels right, what's not, okay? And if you can see, it's literally like the same color holding on to something, uh, it goes straight in your head. So whatever it is that doesn't belong to you, your headaches or your migraines will be telling you about it uh, seven days from now. And you might even find out what connection was kind of pulling you down in the way where even if that person was close to you and was helping you out in one way or another, like a friend or family member, whoever that person is, um, a lover in some cases too, if you feel like after being around them, you suddenly have or heavy head or headaches, this is saying this is not your person, okay? You have to save your own energy. Now, you are going to be literally not taking any crap from anyone seven days from now you will be kind of giving people their own karma in a way i literally see you doing that guys <laughs> so whoever hasn't treated you right or whoever will be getting in your way seven days from now you will you will be like come come i'll show you you know <laughs> that's what's going on here now for those who are dealing with some kind of uh, legalities or any kind of documents, guys, make sure you fill it on time. And uh, if you have done it already, if that's vibing with you, that's good. It's saying it's going to be good news, okay? It's going to be uh, sorted in a way. For those who are still thinking like, oh, I don't know, I'm not sure, this is your indication saying make sure you do things in advance, make sure you read about uh, contracts and you don't go 
you need to basically find out everything that's written in documents, guys. So je that's just like a heads up for you. And do not be... Um, do not be naive. That's what it's saying for you guys. If you have sorted this out, this is not your message, okay? For a lot of you, we have dealings with work. And it might be that some of you guys might realize that work is causing you some kind of stress or work is um, causing you some kind of... I keep getting heavy energy. Maybe it's working on your physical... Um, on your body somehow too here that's what I'm seeing but whatever you will be doing seven days from now it feels like just a little bit more and now we'll be out of this energy it's something about you needing to be patient and you needing to speak up be that queen of swords guys seven days from now it's gonna bring um, I mean I don't mean to say that it's gonna bring karma to others no it's gonna be a uh, you will be used as a tool for some people seven days from now in order for them to get what they need to hear or to get what they deserve, okay? Would it be good karma? Would it be bad karma? Whatever it is, you are going to be used as a tool. And I'm looking at this now, Ace of Wands, as if, you know, someone is controlling you from above. So go with the flow and answer what your soul urges will be telling you because your intuition will be on point guys okay let's see what else seven days from now work so we talked about it right let's see a bit more about this it's a lot to do with work for all piles it's like oh everyone is dealing with work 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 not as much uh, romance whatsoever it's just like people walking away you know people starting to to take care of themselves uh, listening to their own intuition getting messages from people it's um it's good stuff you know what's up what's up listen your intuition will be so on point also pay attention to your dreams you will be feeling someone coming towards you really quick really fast okay and uh it feels like for some of you it can be even ex lover for some of you it's a new energy but do feel like it's an opposite sex and it might be romantic in one way or another pay attention to your dreams because your dreams will be telling you about it warning you or your intuition will be telling you someone or something is coming towards me okay let me see what this person will bring you it's a lot to do with learning here what's up with all of you guys and learning something okay so we have Ace of Pens and we have Page of Pentacles. Uh, this is something to do with university or for those who are graduated. It's something to do with deepening your knowledge. So some of you will literally um, get interested in something. I also see a situation where someone will offer you to read a certain book saying, oh, you should definitely take a look at that book. And you will find a lot of useful information in that book regarding finances or regarding um, future endeavors of some sorts to do with your own career. Okay, if you will have an urge seven days from now, guys, Guys, during that time to get in to buy a book of some sorts or to start reading about something for some of you also see you going to um, visit in a building of some sorts just behind over there really old gates um, go ahead and do so okay it's something about your you and realization about your financial situation Let me see what's gonna happen. The Empress, you are feeling yourself. Guys, this goes so much with, like I'm doing things differently today. So I'm gonna uh, not only pass messages to you through tarot, but through music as well. And the Empress is everything that I will want to say in the music, <laughs> through the music. You guys, 
it feels like you won't care about money even though you won't have as much as you want and some of you guys with the ace of wands here and the empress you might be feeling very romantic but more so sexual okay and i do see someone wanting to get a uh, a hookup, someone wanting to go on a random date, someone wanting to invite someone out, someone literally wanting to change the routine where it involves the other sex and the chance to meet someone even though um, maybe some of you are not looking for serious commitments, but it's something about that energy where you are feeling very sexual. And let's get into the music part here because that's literally what I was about to tell you. So the song that I have picked for you, pal, number three is... Ooh, you see? You see what I mean? Like there is so... <laughs> There is an urge. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm joking. But just give me a minute here to get my gadgets back together. All right. I hope that's not going to fall fall on the, on the desk. Now, so the song that you have, guys, is a band called Movement, and it's called Ivory. Hi, guys. I had to cut this video off because what happened was... I was so sure I had everything in order and somehow I've mixed the songs of pile number three and pile number one but everything happens for a reason in my mind the control you song was meant for you guys actually and I was like oh my god the Empress is vibing literally with this whole you know vibe of a song I'm gonna play that one out for you because I feel like this was literally a vibe you feeling your own self, you feeling very, I told you, sexy, you know, and uh, that's what's happening seven days from now. And when we're gonna also talk about the lyrics a bit here. So here we are. Okay, and I'll skip it here. So he says, um, can you show me the way that I sh show you? Show me what I should do. And then, you know, you can read the lyrics uh, on your own time. But I feel like that's what we're talking about. You guys, especially whoever is feminine watching this, I feel like you will be seducing someone seven days from now. Honestly, like, and that song was reminds me of a sex song in a way you know it's very like if you listen to the whole song it, it gets you in the mood you know and it's that kind of a vibe so i mean just be careful if you don't want kids don't get pregnant <laughs> pile number three okay i'm sorry i've messed up with songs but i feel like it happened for a reason because in my mind i was like so sure that that's your song and that's what came out. And I was like, damn, like, I've played that song for pile number one, pile number three. So if you want to check that one out too, it, there might be a message for you there in lyrics. Um, and yeah, guys, let me know how everything is with you. Tribe, I love you as always. You are dope. And I'm going to see you soon. Bye for now.